Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together because it's too large to fit on the screen for you to see it all at once. But you might pause it at different times, get some graph paper, set this thing up. Or when we look at the answer choices, before I talk to you about what the answer is, you might pause the video and do it on your own. All right, so let's read the, the question. The graph below is created by an employee at a gas station. We don't know why, but I guess we can assume that makes sense. All right. So we have an employee making this graph. And OK, we're trying to track the gas sales, right? All right, let's make a little bit more sense. On the x-axis, we have the number of gallons. I'm going to label that x-axis. On the y-axis, the cost in dollars. So we're looking at the um, number of gallons we're selling and how that affects the cost of gas, right? Because the more gallons you buy, the more you're going to have to pay. That's, that's what this graph is essentially showing us. So you can see it's a positive slope, right? The more we buy, the more we pay. Which statement can be justified using the graph? <clears throat> I noticed that. Before I look at these, all of these are, if you pause the video and read through them, you'll see they're all about slope, right? Every single one of these is about unit rate, which is slope. So it's unit rate or slope. So before I even read these questions, I'm going to actually go back to the graph and find the slope. So here's my graph. First thing you want to do is find some friendly points. This point right here is 415, and this point right here is 830. So what's the slope between them? So we go from 15 to 30, so it's going up 15, and over 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So our slope is simply 3.75. That means it's 3.75 more dollars for every one gallon. If you look here, that's choice two. All right, I hope this helped.